All right, folks, I'm gonna do a little unboxing of these new Motorola radios. Now, let's say Motorola, you know, when you're ordering stuff off of Lazada over here in the Philippines. <clears throat> Most of the time, half the time, some of the time, the shit's not legit. It's uh, it's knockoff shit coming out of China. So I, I don't know, these don't seem to be real based on the price, but I, I'm not a fucking expert. Uh, Maybe the angle on the dangle ain't exactly straight here, but you know what? Life ain't perfect, so here we go. Here's the box. Uh, Motorola portable radio. Let's see if it has some type of uh, model number. No, nope. it's portable radios. We got some information here. I can barely see. It's just got some Chinese writing. Uh... There you go. So I'm guessing right now, instead of straight out of Compton, this is straight out of China. Motorola Solutions. See if this is written in English or Chinese. Boom, Chinese. Oh shit, okay. That tells you right there, these ain't authentic. Well, there's some English. Maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. Jury's still out. All right, this particular model came with a headset. All right, so it looks like we got the charger. Goes in there. Got a battery. Well, let's check what it says on the battery. This is 7.4 volt, 21,800 milliamp hours, made in Malaysia. Okay, if we believe that. Got a wrist strap belt clip, antenna, three prong wall charger for export, export only. And then here you go, here's the radio itself. And this has a model RT-711, 42 watt. <laughs> That's a joke. Frequency 400 to 480 megahertz. Assembled in Malaysia. Oh, this is funny. Assembled in Malaysia by Mo Trobla. Mo Trobla. It didn't even spell it right. All right, so obviously, folks, if there's any doubt in your mind at this point, these are Chinese knockoff Motorola's. You got a push to talk button here. And then this is the spot where you plug in the headset, USB, and what do we got here? Looks like the channel selector and the volume and the off. Pretty simple. Okay, these are obviously not 42 watts. They're obviously um, knockoffs. But we're going to test them out. There's the mic. We'll test these things out and see how they work. And we're just planning on using these on our camping trip. So when Eric and I go on a little kayaking trip up the river or we go hiking, we got some communications with base camp. So that's what we're hoping to accomplish uh, with these radios and the price on these. Boom, there's the price on the screen. So I don't remember exactly what we paid. Uh, but you know, if these are five watts, I'm hoping that these are five watts. If they're five watts, they'll, they'll probably work. You know, if they're one or two watts, not gonna get a lot of range, but you know, if, if these are five watts, even though they're marketed as 42 watts, I'll, I'll take five watts. But 100% these are not a 42 watt radio that's funny it's all about the marketing people go on Lazada they look at these radios and the highest wattage is the ones they go with in actuality it's just all bulla bulla just bullshit false advertising welcome to China okay so at least I got these guys charging they are charging they come with a belt clip but you got to put you got to take the screws out of the back and screw the belt clip in and they're little bitty screws so i don't have a screwdriver small enough to install the belt packs they come with you know the two two uh antennas so i got the long antennas on here for additional range let them charge up and we'll test them out big daddy big daddy okay remember let, let go to let go yeah. of the button when you stop talking okay <laughs> janice keeps holding the push the push to talk button down this big daddy <laughs> okay, listen, this is what I want you to do. I want you ladies to get dressed and take the radio and, and start walking. We're going to test. 
No, just walk to the market and we're gonna see if the radio lasts to the market. I I, I go in the backyard, wait. <laughs> okay, go to the backyard, baby. Okay, so these are pretty simple operation. You turn them on. Power on. 14. Voice tells you what channel it is. There's no readout. There's no channels up there, so it just tells you by the voice. Is anybody on back there? <laughs> Negative on that big burger. <laughs> That's a negative, negative ghost rider. Negative on that big burger. Positive, positive, positive. Manuk, manuk, manuk. You're at the market already? Holy shit, Angel's. I copy Angel Bakery. Copy Angel Bakery. <laughs> All the way to Angel Bakery. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Here's one day of ice left. So it's went down a little bit. I mean, it was filled up obviously to the top. It's went down, but it's cold in here, obviously. It's still got ice. That's after one day sitting in the house. We'll check it tomorrow. I'm coming up on a checkpoint. There's a lot of traffic like this. Or any choke point in traffic. Folks, I always walk it out. I walk it out past this mess because if you jump to if I jumped a trike or a jeepney, I'd be sitting in this traffic for a while. Hello, how are you? You doing okay? Alright, cool. Yeah. I'd be sitting in this traffic for a while faster just to walk it out walk past the choke point in the traffic you know get blue suede shoes on i was gonna walk all the way to subic town but i decided against it because i'm not sure what time the post office closes today's a saturday but here we go the checkpoint i got to get to the far side then i'm gonna jump on a jeepney or a trike head on up pick up my mail went up to the boat place might take a look at the boats I got an idea for a boat in mind. A little homemade boat. Go see my man Johnny. Still clipping it. Coming up on two and two. Scuba Beach Resort. Just rolling on with it, folks. Beautiful day to be alive. Moving forward, upright, and walking. All right. And now I got to navigate this mess right here guess I go hard left like these folks that's why I wear these Merrells with the Gore-Tex lining keep that mush off my feet because I do a lot of walking on a downhill slope in the Kalapandayan easy walking but that bar is open but don't go early go late they're offloading the coke bottles to the trike the trike's gonna take them there on down can I go wide? Oh no, I gotta go this way. Hello, my friends, how are you? Hello. All right. All them Coca-Cola bottles, folks. Yeah, and offload them into the trike for a local delivery. All right. Man, this made me thirsty for a Coke. I can't remember if I have a video of this before. Johnny Bobier, if I read his and running right. Got some gentlemen right there putting some new concertina wire up. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess keep people from coming up from the river here at the End Oaks. There's your look at the river. I'm almost to my destination here. Right in the middle of oh shit. Right in the middle of Subic Town. Over to the left side of the aircraft is the Subic Market. I may end up heading over there, seeing what they got to offer. Oh, lady, she always loves some shrimp. Always give me some shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. I might check it out over there. See, see, they can help me out. Make a wife number one happy. Beautiful Saturday here, but it's hot. 
Folks, it is hot. And this sun has baked me coming up this road. But I'm almost to my destination, the post office. Y'all have seen me go there before. And I'll always give a quick shout out to the folks working at the Cuban post office. They're always very good to me. Handle my mail, send me a text message when it comes in. Very friendly folks, never had a problem with any of my mail here coming through the Subic post office. Well, folks, seems I have humped it all the way up here. And they're not open on Saturday, or if they are, they've already closed. I got here too late, so one of the two. But this is the window here that you transact business at the Subic post office. And being that nobody's here, and kind of give you a slow look around. There's the Zambales Police Provincial Office, Subic Police Station, and then City Hall's just to the, this building to the left. But back here in the back, it's the post office. Now, if you're doing data capturing for fingerprint, you get those ID cards, there's the information for the postal ID. There you go, there it is once again. So you come here, fill out your paperwork, but you got to go up to Castellejos for the data capturing on those days. Well, that's what I get for not coming yesterday. They texted me yesterday. I got to, uh, I got busy on other stuff, dropped the ball, didn't get up here. So the news, whatever, you know, package I've got waiting on me, letter, good news, bad news, whatever. It's got to wait till Monday. Question is, where am I going from here? Think about going to see my man, Johnny. Johnny's Bamboo Shop. Warma Republic Pizza and Milkshake. That looks pretty good. Two seventy nine dollars pizza. Buy one, take one. That's next to Sam's Pizza. All right, so coming along here, coming up on the, uh, not the Divi Mart. What's this place called? The Atal. The Atal. Got a little tea stand here for this pretty lady. And there's the Atal. But folks, I'm gonna tell you, last time I went in there, now it may be fixed by now, but last time I went in there, there was no air conditioning. And wearing that face shield, you were sweating like a bitch up in there with that no air con. I, I was like, holy shit, how can people stand it up in here? I'm all for the heat. As you can see, I'm all for the heat. You get up in a closed building, wearing a face shield and a face mask, trying to look at price tags, I haven't been back since. Maybe they got it fixed. I don't know. Okay, so there you go. It's just a little checkpoint. Hell had about 10, 12 trikes, motorbikes pulled over. That's another reason I just don't buy a motor vehicle over here. Now look, you got all your stuff together, no problem, all right? But it's just another, if I'm walking, checkpoints don't bother me. If I'm riding a bicycle, checkpoints aren't gonna bother me. Guess what, if I'm riding a motorcycle, any type of motorized vehicle, the checkpoints, they have the right to bother you. When I'm walking with my blue suede shoes on, nobody bothering me. They're like, look at that poor bastard. That poor guy's so fucking poor, he can't even afford a goddamn bicycle. Nobody gonna mess with me, they're gonna waste their time. Hey, sure, I can come in here place right here get a motorbike super bike whatever you want to call them but the blue suede shoes are checkpoint proof just like this lady here with her son riding a bicycle and she's riding that three wheel cool on cool on cart ain't nobody fucking with her guess everybody has a differing opinion I do have a motorbike in thailand but over here i just choose to walk my prerogative but I would like to get one of these three wheel carts like this lady's got right here so I can put my coolers in it go to the market I can throw Force G in there the ladies well actually I'd be riding I have one of the ladies pedal that damn thing I don't think the checkpoint is stop a three wheel cart hello rocking on with it Folks, that's just so cute watching that little boy follow his mama, you know, while they're out scrapping. 
just reminds me of uh, you know my relationship with my grandfather and my father when I was that age going to work with them hanging out with them during the work day you know learning those uh, work ethics learning what a hard day's work is like at an early age that money wasn't free money don't come from ATM machines that's the problem with a lot of folks these days especially in my country America they didn't grow up like that they don't know what it fucking means to make a dollar you just want to wait for the mailbox wait for that check to come wait for that free fucking money to hit every month right hello couple beautiful ladies up in there as usual another little bicycle shop off to the right side here I get a force jeep bike all right maybe get him that spider man bicycle oh there's one right there that little guy would be perfect for him got a little card on the back of it I meant to pick that up spider man is too big Still pushing. Hello. A nice little leaning pole here. At least it's got some yellow painting on it. So if you're clipping down through this lane at a high rate of speed, you don't ease over and smack this thing because that's a solid pole right there. Off to the left side of the aircraft is the Walter Mart. I used to love coming to the Walter Mart. Now I do not because they make you wear a face shield. Nice, you know, fairly new. Well, it's new, brand new. Opened the year a couple years ago. Got an Ace Hardware in there I like to browse, but not with the face shield bullshit. Went up on Johnny's to see what he has in stock. Oh, yeah, it looks like you got some new Baha Kubo's manufactured here. All right, you got some chicken gels, chicken coops, but Janice calls them a chicken gel. I'm threatening to get some of those and put some chickens in my backyard. Janice said put rabbits because they're quieter. I said, yeah, that's good for the stew. But then she said, no, I'm, I can't eat the rabbits. A couple chickens under there. Yeah, so a couple little, that's a little just hangout behind Kubo. Now this guy here is the one bedroom version. You, know, you got the living area here and then back there you got the one bedroom real nice you know folks you can live in these a lot of people here in the philippines they live in these things let me come up here and show you the back they build these things by hand so every one of them has a slightly different uh character yeah so you've got the loft up here where the babies sleep up there mom and dad sleep down here you even got a door with a lock they got a ventilation for the loft or I should say a loft for ventilation. Ambulance rolling strong northbound. So this is just a hangout behind Kubo here. You know, this is like one of these we hang out at over at the Blue Rock. So you just, just hang out in this one, but you can live in that one over there. And I'm gonna get the prices. Um, this is with work area back here. Couple little homemade grills, baskets, and another hangout behind Kubo. All right, folks, let me go in here and rustle up Johnny. I'm here with Jelly, and just looking around, see what they got. And this is a shelf already got. And they just priced this at one three, and this comes out of Pung Asinan. Johnny doesn't make this one. This, the wood stuff comes out of Pung Asinan. And how much did you say this one was, Jelly? Okay, so three five on this guy here, but I don't think it's wide enough for the big screen TV. Here's these loungers that I made my cooking table out of. How much is the slim one? Two five on the slim one, and how much on the wide one? Three thousand on that one. So the big Baha'i Kubo out there is forty eight thousand pesos. That's right at a thousand dollars for the one bedroom. And then how much is the small one here with the hangout? So twenty five thousand on the small hangout, which is five hundred. So for 1500 bucks, you can have a place to live in and a cooking area. That's the prices on these. How much to deliver? It's free delivery. Hey, free delivery. 
Okay, so this one is, is 3,300. All right, so I stopped in this little bike shop back there. Asked them about that big bike. It's like 8,000. Uh, you say 100, 160, 170 bucks. But it's made out of China. Typical cheap Chinese stuff. But there was a little bike that fit for a C, so I'm thinking about going back and getting that one. Because I don't see many bikes that size. But I asked him, I said, hey man, look, I was looking at this bike on Lazada. And it's a three-wheel cargo bike, which has a back seat in the back. And I'm about to get run over by a GB. Alright. I was asking the guy, look man, I know which bike I want. It's on Lazada. I can order it. You know, it's obviously easy to order on Lazada. Let me bring it up here. You put it together. So how much for the labor? And he like calls wife out there. It's like, nah, cannot. I'm like, why not? It's like, you gotta buy it here. Okay, well, I'm trying to give you some money to put in your pocket, but you don't have the bike I want. So I guess I'll just find another bike shop. Cause they got this little three, it's a three wheel bike, but there's a seat in the back and it folds down like into a little cargo basket. Or you can fold the seat up, put one lady and a couple babies back there. Hey, hey buddy. But when you watch the video on how to put that bicycle together, you need to be a damn structural slash, oh, Rick and Racer took them down on the outside. You need to be a, a genius to put it together. I don't even have any tools other than a Leatherman tool and a coconut chopper. So I said, if I buy that bike, I'm not, I'm not putting it together. I'm not making any attempt to put it together. I'm just going to take it to a bike shop. Ah, but according to that gentleman, he, he can't do it for me. I'm going to find somebody else. A little camo goods. I stopped in there once before. A little camo bags, generators. Sort of like a survival. Oh, it's a tactical supply. Riz Gel Variety Store. Tactical supply, power tools, engines, and tools. Got raincoats. Folks, I want to thank everybody for joining me on this walking tour. Somebody said, this guy's always walking around. Well, yeah, I'm always walking around. That's why I look so young. A little that, and I got a lot of ladies hanging out with me. But I want to thank everybody for joining me on the walking tour. If you're not a subscriber, bottom right-hand corner of your screen, hit that open state road sign, get on board my train. I certainly appreciate it. Angel's Burger, please take down these plastic barriers. All you're doing is turning those stools in the dining area into a fucking sauna. It's not needed. Take them down. Yeah. Across the road here. Shit. Thought I got run over by Rick and Racer. Oh yeah, now I'm walking like a boss. Doing a billionaire strut. This place here, Civic Beach Resort. It's open. Entrance fee 75 pesos. Over 10 years old. 8 to 5. Open daily. This is a spot I used to walk past during the uh, heinousness of this lockdown. And it was always closed. I remember I always kept saying, you know, I'm just dreaming of the day when I could bring my babies. Go to the goddamn beach. Well, guess what? It's back to being open. Plenty of shade. Ooh, look at all that bamboo. My goodness, beautiful bamboo. This guy right here hanging over the side. Yeah, so you know what? I'm going to bring them up here and have a barbecue. I'm going to try to do it on a Saturday because it's all filled up. Homes are open on a Monday. We'll come up here just to hang out for a few hours and barbecue. Special two pig at my East Book Go Fresh. Here's the end of this place. Look at that big, beautiful tree. They're taking these things down. It looks like they got some cottages here, maybe for rent. Right there. See what this little canal, river, whatever you want to call it, looks like. Oh! Looking out on the Civic Bay. Just running into my buddy, the manager over at uh, Whiskey Girl. Whiskey Girl, great little bar. Um, 
got it just running right in there folks great bar to go into and hang out with and uh you know he invited me to come over for a drink i told him hey man i'm on the wagon right now not that i can't go places that serve beer um it's not like that you know i got two bottles of liquor at my house and don't even think about touching them so i'm not tempted to drink it's not like that but it's just the scene it's the scene because i love the scene i love the party scene so I get up in there, start listening, and, you know, people come in, hey man, how you doing? The next thing you know, you're hanging out with a group of folks. Um, next thing you know, I'm going to another bar. And it's just time for me to take, take a break, step back from the bars, from the drinking. And so I told him, I said, hey man, just give me a little while. I'll stop up there and hang out with you, drink a, drink a Coke or a cup of coffee or something like that. But right now, I'm just staying out of that scene for the most part. L&J Fishing Supply. Now, I do really need to stop by there to see what kind of weights, sinkers they got. A lot of fishermen here just tie a piece of uh, rebar. You know, just cut up rebar and tie that on there as weights. So prior to the next fishing trip, I gotta get some heavy weights to take that line down to the bottom. And it's gotta be heavy because the current in Subic Bay anywhere around here is it's just uh strong you gotta have something heavy to get you down to any sort of depth funny my buddy said hey man you're looking like my boy the guy who died what's his name and i, I had no idea who he was talking about he said yo steve Irwin." you're looking like steve Irwin." Now, that's not the that's not the desired look that i'm going for trust me but you know when you're out in the sun a lot this color you know, any light color obviously is going to be the coolest color because it reflects light, whatever. It doesn't absorb the heat like a dark color does. That's why a lot of people wear khaki. You know, light colors like this, off-white, stuff like that. Look, rolling strong. Pieces of thick-ass plywood on the top of that one. Folks, subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell. Get notified when I post videos. The gentleman just racked out over there. Right side of the aircraft. He was just chilling. Oh yeah, I can't pass Bingo's Bakery without coming in and picking up some bread. All right, the river's up. The river is definitely up today. If you look back on our video on the river tour river boat tour right in there is where we beached captain jackie's vessel and then humped it over there so the river is definitely up today the mighty mata inn which is good i guess well in a way wash all the trash on downstream but that's bad because they're just washing it into the bay look around barrio burrito saturday afternoon She gets some new books. He gets so excited when he gets new books. Yeah. Yay. I know a lot of you sent uh, some money and said, you know, get books for Forrest G. We certainly appreciate it. Ooh, baby. He really does. He really enjoys his books. Look, there's ladies, there's there's two yellow. I think there's two of everything. Ladies, watch the, the breasts. There's almost nipple violations on both of you. Folks, I'm not trying to be mean to them. I'm just tired of editing out nipples. You know how long it takes to edit out a nipple? Folks, I'm going to do a quick unboxing on this because this is another piece of gear. You know, I've ordered knives off of Lazada. I got the, the Bear Grylls fake knives and I got the other Gerber knife, which is 
pretty good quality, but it's it's got to be a knockoff. This is another product that I found on Gerber. Excuse me, I found on Lazada. And what they do, if, if they advertise it as Gerber, within a few days it gets removed. So apparently the Gerber folks are actively, you know, trying to weed out the counterfeit gear. So this was called something like a camp tool or kitchen tool, whatever. But it's basically a Gerber strong arm. Now, I'll just go over the box. I'm going to show you what's available here and what you know what you end up getting there's so much counterfeiting over here in asia southeast asia lifetime warranty north america only designed and engineered in oregon gerbergear.com okay so like the the branding on the box it seems to be spelled properly but if anybody has a gerber strong arm knife you can tell me if it's similar or different or, or what have you so we'll go ahead and break into this bad boy. All right, so pardon all the bras in the background. The lady's got a bra shipment in here. If you didn't see it from previous footage, there you go right there. They were complaining that they had no bra, so it's pretty easy. Just go on those out and fire for effect. Okay, so it's everything in the box. Now, that's some cheap ass cardboard <laughs> okay so here's your literature Gerber tactical strong arm fixed blade and there's everything that it says that it comes with with all the configurations now this almost well, I'm going to say it almost looks like a photocopy, but it's not. It's packaged in bubble wrap. Now, the only thing I know about Gerber Strong Arms is that they came in a black color and a coyote color. And this thing was marketed as a green color. Okay, so I don't know if you would consider that green or coyote. But from the pictures that I've seen of the Gerber Strong Arm, the, the coyote is obviously a more coyote brown color. And this does, this is like an OD green. And so I don't, I don't know if Gerber ever made one in a shade of green. If they didn't, well, that looks green to me. So it would obviously tell us that it's a knockoff. Now I'll go over some of the things, some of the fine details here. circle a little bit off center to the right check out the snap uh, this feels like a little a little bit cheap cheap on the snap and this is just really thin material right here and you get the snaps on the back it's got the Gerber branding there. All right, so let's pull this guy out. Give it a whirl. Now, that's actually got a pretty smooth... I feel like it's got a pretty smooth lock. I mean, this, this uh, plastic, Kydex, whatever it is, holster seems to be okay. But here you go. Here's the knife. It comes with plastic on the blade, so if somebody has... A strong arm you can tell us whether or not yours come with plastic looks like it's got a little oil a little bit of oil on the blade and then over to the right oh, the other side made in the usa portland and the numbers we got on here are 087-1214 bravo there you go just get some really close images here for anybody who's an expert that can tell us hey man that's a that's a chinese chinese knockoff or legitimate gerber but when you buy shit on lazada like that 99.9 percent .9 it's a knockoff all right how does it feel let's stop talking about whether or not it's a knockoff let's let's 
pretty obvious to me it's a Chinese knockoff. But let's move forward. How does it feel? Folks, that actually feels pretty damn balanced. That has got a great grip to it. I'm not sure the exact length on the blade, but that is about the right size I was looking for for a new for a new kitchen knife. It's sharp right here and it's dull. Well, it's an uneven sharpness on the blade. And this is the serrated version. Okay? So there you go. That's the knife. It feels good. It feels like I'm going to be able to chop, chop, chop some vegetables here in my kitchen, in the backyard, and out at the campsite. Now I'll have to figure out exactly how this thing, this here thing works. I mean, obviously that goes through the belt. Um, through a big belt. That's through a thin belt. And then... Okay, if you want to wear it sideways, yeah, you can wear it sideways and just small your back. That goes through the belt there. And then if you want to mount it to something. So pretty good setup. Pretty good setup. Now, when I was on Amazon, and you know what? The reason I was on Amazon the other day and I was going to order one from the States and it said unavailable they didn't have any in stock i guess then i was messing around on lazada and i saw this and i said you know what what a perfect addition to my knockoff knife collection um and they just always seem to knock off gerber and, and again it's, it's decent quality it, it's it's obviously probably not as good as the real one but whoever's knocking these things off in china this is a pretty good knockoff. I think it'd be hard to tell, other than the color. This is this is a shade of green, and I don't think they made green. Uh, the ones they made are coyote or black. There we go. Ready to chop some onions. I'm gonna chop onions with it tonight. My goodness, I'm not waiting for the camping trip. 